Hi everyone, Eric from Automate Intelligently here uh, with a quick tutorial and overview of how to make a simple, very simple booking app. Um, there's been a lot of chat in the Slack group recently about how to, how to make this work. Um, and I have a very, very simple way um, that I've made one and I'll show it to you very quickly. Um, and I think the main thing that people are getting caught up on is they're trying to create a collection for available times um, and then reservations and you're trying to do a little too much with that. So I think the simplest thing to start off with is let's just look at our collections. I have users and I have slots. That could be time slots, could be classes, it could be reservations, it could be appointments. Um, you know, it, the, the world's endless for what type of app you're, you're trying to make here. But the simple point about this is, is that every slot has um, a date, a location. Um, I've added capacity and seats booked. So if you have like an exercise class and you have 15 seats, you can have a capacity here and you can show the number of seats booked. If the, the number of seats booked isn't really that important to you, you could just have capacity and add and remove people as people reserve and as uh, they cancel. Um, so you're just going up and down with your capacity and then you just show those numbers. And then if it's if it equals zero, then you, you don't show that class. Uh, there's a provider. This is... Um, you know, whoever it, the servicer is, whether it's a, a teacher or a doctor or a restaurant, whatever, I call them provider, and then you have a user, okay? And these are both uh, many to one. So, um, you know, providers can have many time slots, but every time slot belongs to one provider. Uh, users can have many reservations or many time slots again, but um, every time slot can only belong to one user. Uh, for this example. So if you have a, a class where there's going to be a lot of people or, or more than one person, then you could have um, a many to many for users. So, you know, many users can have, a user can have many time slots and a time slot can have many users. Okay. And I guess you could do the same for provider too, if you have um, multiple instructors on a, a single time slot. All right. So let's get into this. Okay. So the the key thing I think here is um, is if I exit this right and I go to sign up is I have two workflows here whether you're a provider or not okay and that means if you're a provider let me just get rid of this the screen doesn't matter if you are a provider you go to your own provider workflow, okay? And and there's some different things about that than if you're just a user. If you're a user, then you'll come to a different screen um, and you can see some different information, okay? Uh, and bear with me, there's not a lot of data in here, so this is this is a pretty simple app just for explanation purposes. Uh, so let's walk, log in. Um, Okay, so this is the the provider, okay? And they can see the reservations users have made, okay? So they could click into this um, and you could add more information here, like the user's a picture is supposed to be here, but I didn't put any pictures on the user. Um, users have ratings, so I put in some rating thing here. You can see time and date, um, the location, and you could have other options here, like add notes or have a chat here. Um, but you know, if you wanted to, you could cancel that um, and go back, and then you can add slots. Okay, so um, let's just add a slot for um, today is the twenty fifth. So let's just add one for tomorrow in Texas. One person. Okay. Now they can't see that here because it's not it's not reserved. They've created a time slot that's available for somebody to reserve, but there's there's nothing for them to do with it. So let's go to test uh, user two. They can go in and they can see their reservations. Okay, so they have a reservation two months in room one. Thanks for that, Google. They can cancel us, so let's just cancel it. Okay, no reservations. Uh, 
Now we can go and make a reservation. Okay, we can see the available times. We can see the one we just added in a day in Texas. We can go in and we can book that reservation. Um, and this doesn't automatically update, but that would show up there. Okay. A few key things here is um, if you book, um, if you do a booking, so so actually let's look at this. Let's just work, walk through the workflow here, okay? Okay, so when you create a time slot, okay, it automatically sets the status to available, okay? And in this list, um, that, sorry, so when you go to this list, it is looking for the status to be available, all right? So that's the status. If you go in and you book a class, it updates that slot, changes it to reserved, and removes one seat from that capacity, okay? Um, Oh, and it should add the current user. Yeah, maybe that's why it's not showing up. Um, if you go in and you cancel, okay, there's a confirm, it'll go in and it'll change the status to available. And actually what it should do is it should add one seat back to capacity, right? And um, it should, um, uh, should remove the current user, but this isn't set up properly. So we'll just leave that. Okay. And so once that is reserved, we have a list of the logged in user slots where the status equals reserved. And we have the same thing for the provider where we're just saying, um, you know, these are the, the reservations um, as long as the date is after today. Now, a few cool things that you could do with this and kind of like next steps of what, what you would do is, you know, you'd add a, a you know, a confirmation screen here. Uh, I would integrate it with email or text message so you could send them uh, an email confirmation of this uh, to both parties. You can have an approval step. So, you know, you could have, um, you know, once the user clicks here, it becomes uh, requested and the provider has a requested list here so they could go in and approve the request if you know they need to confirm their availability another thing I'd look at doing is if you have all of your uh, reservations within a set time period is you could just have a list of those here um, similar to this and just let people tap on them and and then you would have two states so you'd have like a circle with a check mark um, that would appear after they tap on it and that would add it to their available time slots so somebody you know a provider could go in and say oh yeah I want to add you know eight hours on this day and they could click each of those things um, to see uh, or to add uh, add those specific slots instead of you know going through this uh, time slot thing, which would be quite tedious to do if you're trying to make yourself available a lot. So that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions, um, just give me a shout. Cheers, bye.